uh, no doubt it was an overwhelming experience uh, realizing the fact that you're, you're 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 spending your time in the locale where uh, Allah's last messenger والسلام, and his companions spent spent their lives as well as uh, uh, a lot of other prophets uh, spent their time Abu Lambia, Sayyidina Ibrahim والسلام, as well as Sayyidina Ismail so it, it was very overwhelming uh, spiritually as well as emotionally but one uh, takeaway that uh, that uh, uh, that I experienced uh, from the uh, from the whole uh, uh, pilgrimage was that you see uh, everyone focused on on uh, on fulfilling their obligations, all the arkans of, of Hajj, and uh, uh, you see diversity, you see social harmony, you see racial harmony, you see econ economic harmony. Uh, nobody is uh, differentiated based on their status in the society. Nobody is differentiated based on their color, their race, their culture, their, their national origin. So, and then it dawned upon me, why can't we emulate the same thing in our daily lives? Then the other thing that I, I came to realize was that maybe it's because when you go for Hajj, you're so much focused on one mission that everything else becomes uh, less important to, uh, to, to you. So that's the takeaway from the Hajj experience. So if we go back to our daily lives and if we emulate the same thing, focus on one mission, which is, the, which is seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as well as doing good for the society. And if you're focused on that one mission, then all other things, all your e egoistic and, uh, and any other uh, you know, uh, less noble uh, intentions become immaterial.